Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so tonight we are going to talk about vin not vintage, I'm sorry, shoes, women's shoes, pre owned shoes that sell well. Um, I have sold new in the box shoes, and I typically stay away from pre owned shoes because I think it's kind of, I don't know, yucky, but people are. I, I've been doing these featured seller videos and people are doing amazing with used shoes. And I can't say I've never sold used shoes. Like it just kind of depends. I have sold some um, Ralph Lauren that I picked up at a garage sale that were, were in amazing condition. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, I'm kind of trying to be more open to used shoes because I've seen so many of you that are just, doing awesome with them. I picked up a pair of, I think it's spelled A-S-O-L-O. -O. Um, they're like a hiking boot, real heavy duty, and they're men's. And I picked them up at a garage sale two weekends ago, and I have them up for auction right now. And there's four people watching them, so I will keep you posted. But I'm pretty sure those are going to be a bolo. And I just sold a pair of Rockport dress shoes they were um new in the box so they weren't worn but i got them at a garage sale and i just listed them and they sold super fast and i sold them for 30 i think 35 dollars but i'll post that in one of my future videos but um yeah those were both men's shoes so i am branching out and trying to do more used shoes so i'm listening to you guys i'm learning that's why i do this to learn okay so we are going to get started here. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that by clicking the subscribe button. If you would like to um, get alerts when I post new videos, click the alert button. All right, here we go. Lots of used shoes here. I'm going to move through them quick. So, okay. So Sorel, S-O-R-E-L, and these are boots and they are pretty cool. And they look to be in decent condition. You know, the bottoms weren't, are not real clean, but everything else looks pretty good. These sold for $157.50 with 81 bids, and these are used. I went through all of these. If the item was relisted, like it, I, I looked through tons and tons of solds, and if it said relisted, I did not post any of those. And I also went into the bid history to make sure that there wasn't any, like, suspicious like zero feedback winners and stuff like that. And I know sometimes there's legitimate zero feedback winners, but sometimes it means something else is going on also. So I just skipped those and I tried to get items that have a lot of bids to show that demand, I guess. So I didn't search solds for um, buy it now or anything like that. So here we go. The next pair are these, I have no idea how to say it. It's like the harder the name is to say, the more they sell for. Um, I'm not even going to try. It's B-A-L-E-N-C-I-A-G-E. -E. And these are high top sneakers. What? Okay, now I'm really confused. Why is, what is going on here? I think that the seller accidentally added, uh, I think the seller messed up, but anyhow, let's see if women's high top sneakers. Yeah. They just accidentally, I think put in maybe photos from another listing. Cause that's not even the same brand. Anyhow, these went for $700 with 79 bids. The next one are these Timberland boots and they are pink, pink Timberland boots. These sold for $73. It looks like the seller still has the original box, but they are marked pre-owned and 58 bids. Ugh, we all know about Ugh. So these are these crazy floral, kind of pretty, kind of different. They are pre-owned. Says they were used about 10 to 14 times. And it looks like maybe 
they were picked up at a discount store. That's pretty typical uh, marking for a discount store like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They usually write on the bottoms. Um, 174s, that's still not, that doesn't seem like a huge discount, but I don't know what they retail for. But these sold for $182.50 with 58 bids. All right, these are Red Wing women's combat style boots. You can see here. And these sold for $290 with 75 bids. Now that is amazing. Doc Martens is another popular one. Um, this pair happens to be steel toe and they are women's. They went for $93 with 65 bids. Gucci. Now these say new, but then they say pre-owned here. So I don't know what's going on with that. They look new. Hmm. Maybe because they don't have tags, they just marked them pre-owned. But these went for $320, 64 bids. Gucci's just a popular brand and most Gucci do well, but I imagine they're probably hard to find at thrift stores, but I have had feature sellers that have found them at thrift stores. So don't give up. Fry, Fry Boots, um, another good one. F-R-Y-E is how you spell it. Here's the little symbol or logo. These sold for $159.50 with 60 bids. Valentino Garavani, I think is how you say it. And these are just like these studded pumps. And okay, that's weird. It still has a Marshall's tag on it. And the Marshall's tag says $649. I'm going to say it's safe to say that they probably didn't pay $649 for these, but well, they do. That's weird. So they look completely used. So this tag, is it attached or just sitting on top? Maybe they kept the tag. Who knows? Yeah, because they've got some wear on the toes. So these uh, sold for $257.52 with 59 bids. Coach. Coach is another good one. Um, I think most of you have heard of Coach. That's what the inner brand label looks like that's on the bottom of the shoe. Sold for $151 with 59 bids, and these are a size 11, so I'm sure that helped drive up the price. Golden Goose. Okay, I've never heard of this brand, but I saw other solds, and this is a brand you want to find. I mean, I, I don't know why these went for so much. I don't know what they retail for. These are not in the best shape. They might be vintage, but they don't say that. They just say pre-owned. These sold for $265 with 59 bids, and here is the it says Superstar Golden Goose Deluxe brand. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And they are leather made in Italy. Dansko. Um, there is a seller in my Facebook group, which if you're not a member of, I'll post a link down below. Definitely join us. But he sells tons of these and he gets them at the Goodwill bins all the time. And he sells them for big money. So definitely be on the lookout for these. These sold for $185.50. Women's Nike Air Vapor Max. Nike, sorry. I always say Nike. I've always said Nike, but somebody corrected me, so I'm trying to work on it. Nike. These Nikes sold for $123.50, 58 bids. Tori Birch is another one. Um, she seems to have a lot of bolo shoes. And these sold for 107 with 57 bids. John Fluvog, I think is how you say it. Let me see if I can get you a label here. All right, so here's what you're looking for. And these sold for $70 um, with 54 bids. Uh, Lucius, Lucius, 
L-U-C-C-H-E-S-E. -E. These are black leather boots and they look kind of like cowgirl boots. These are pre-owned. They sold for $118.50 with 54 bids. And here's the little uh, logo you're looking for, branding. Another pair of Tory Bur Birch. These um, only went for 52, but that's still pretty good for pre-owned shoes in my opinion, 54 bids. I like these little uh, shoe, uh, I don't know what they're called, displays, shoe displays. They're holding the shoe open really nicely. Makes for a good picture. Might be something I have to get. Jimmy Choo, another good brand. Well, I'm not finding, here we go. So here's the inner label. Jimmy Choo London. These sold for $142.50 with 53 bids and those had free shipping. Rothy's. Here's another one that I learned about in one of the resellers groups. Somebody posted about them. It may have been my group. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, Rothy's. I guess it's kind of a higher end brand or they're some of them are discontinued. I'm not really sure what the, the deal is on these. I'm pretty sure someone from my Facebook group found a pair of these at the Goodwill or something like that. If it was you, comment below and tell us about it. Maybe where you got them, what you paid for them, what they sold for. These sold for $391 with 53 bids free shipping. Here's another Dansko. Um, I think I'm saying that right. I'm confidently saying Dansko as if that's how it's pronounced, but it may not be. And these sold for $47 with 52 bids. And again, these are pre-owned shoes, guys. Stort Weitzman. Never heard of it. I'm not, um, I don't know a lot about, I guess, high-end shoes. Uh, these sold for $175.99 with 52 bids, free shipping. I was trying to find a logo or a brand um, on the inner shoe, but they did not show up so sorry. Here's another pair of Danskos. These are pretty. They must be super comfortable because it seems like nurses and hairdressers and people um, that are on their feet a lot have a tendency to wear these. 61 bids, 50, or I'm sorry, $61, 52 bids. It's getting pretty late. I should be in bed by now, but I wanted to get this video done um, tonight so that I can show it this weekend. So I am really, really tired and it like all of a sudden just hit me and you know how your eyes get all heavy and you're like, ah, I need sleep. All right. Here's another pair of the golden goose and the other pair had stars on them also, but, um, G G D B is on the tag or on the tongue. Let's see on the back. It says golden. I can't tell. Let's see, just golden. It says golden on the back. They must be something special. This pair sold for $479 with 52 bids. Skechers Shape Ups. You guys remember those? They've got kind of the curved bottom and you're supposed to like walk like this. Uh, they're walking shoes. And this pair says pre-owned, but they look really to be in great shape. Here's what you're looking for on the inside, but they're pretty obvious. I mean, they have that weird bottom on the shoe, but these sold for $48.50 with 51 bids. Fendi is another good brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, it's not a really good picture. Can't see it. Kind of blurry. Looks like the seller is wearing gloves. It's weird. Maybe they're outside or maybe they just don't want to touch pre-owned shoes. <laughs> anyway, these look to be pretty worn down. I'm guessing those were brown at one time. Uh, $131.50 with 50 bids. Okay, Christian Lubotin. Again, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these high-end brands. 
these are super cool. Um, it says Valentino. So now I'm confused. Anyway, they sold for 306 with 49 bids, free shipping. Burberry. Burberry is awesome. I love Burberry. These boots are awesome. I think my mom actually has a pair of these. Uh, let's see. It says pre-owned, but they look to be in really good condition. Slight wear on sole and heel. Sold for 108.47 with 48 bids. Here's another one I've never heard of. K. Jackies, maybe is how, how it's pronounced. And these are pre-owned, but still have the original box. Yeah, some people hang on to their boxes. I do not, but I'm not buying like $600 shoes either. So there's the inner brand on the bottom of the shoe or inside of the shoe. $70, 48 bids. Freebird. I don't know if this is a popular brand or if this seller just got lucky because somebody wanted this style of boot. It's kind of like a booty. Uh, these sold for $82 with 46 bids. L.L. Bean Duck Boots. These sold for $74 with 46 bids. I think you've all heard of L.L. Bean. Okay, bed stew. Bed is in like I sleep in a bed. B E D stew. S T U. I must be tired. <laughs> All right. Um, there's the the brand is actually on the bottom of the boot, and these sold for one forty nine fifty with forty six bids. Free shipping on those. Here's another pair of Tory Birch, and these ones that have the actual like. I don't know, this part right here, they're kind of like a thong flip-flop type sandal, and they've got the circle with the, I don't know, logo, I guess. These have a tendency to go high. I've seen others that have gone high that have the same look to them. It says pre-owned. I don't know. it. They look new, but sold for $128.50 with 46 bids. Okay. I don't know how to say this. Riot. I think maybe the A is silent. A R I A T. A riot. These are cowgirl boots, cowboy boots. Um, trying to see. None of that says it. Here's what's on the bottom. Yeah, it might say it there. Kind of looks like a Y. Or maybe it's an A. I guess it could be an A. Anyway, these sold for $80 with 46 bids plus shipping. Teeks, I think is how this is pronounced. It's T-I-E-K-S. And these are, um, they're calling them ballerina shoes, but they're like a slip-on flat. Here is the uh, sole of the shoe, so you can see the, the brand. $217.50 these sold for with 45 bids plus shipping. Here's another Dansko. These sold for 90 with 45 bids. Okay, here's that same brand, Arat. A-R-I-A-T. Uh, these are cowgirl boots, cowboy boots. Um, I think cowboy boots just do well. Here's the, here it is on the inside. And then see, these are different on the bottom. So sold for $74.59 with 44 bids. Never heard of this. I do not think this is a word. I think this is just um, capital letters spelled out. C-Y-D-W-Z-O-Q. C-Y-D-W-O-Q. And let me see if I can get you. These are vintage. And I don't know how old they actually are. Well, maybe. There we go. Oh, I lost it. Okay, so here's the inside. Maybe they're not vintage. Maybe that's just what they're calling them. 
Okay, so C-Y-D-W-O-Q, and then it says vintage. So that might be the style. Anyway, they're really different looking. And they sold for $128.50 with 44 bids plus shipping. And the last item is Hunter Boots. And I would say that... Um, you could find these in a thrift store. I think I just saw in a resellers group where somebody found a pair of these new in the box um, at a Goodwill, I think. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for these. Garage sales would be a good place. Uh, this pair sold for $80 with 40 bids. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit like. And if you comment, you'll get an entry into my drawing for when I um, hit 1,500 subs, subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Thanks for watching. If you have any recommendation for videos that you want to see, feel free to um, comment below and let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good night. I'm going to bed.